the largest number of solid 2 inch by 2 inch by 2 in, uh, 1 inch blocks that can fit in a 3 inch by 2 inch uh, by 3 inch box. Everyone always says I'm wearing them wrong, but I think they're wearing it wrong. Let's make it 3 by 3 by 2 just to make it cleaner. And let's say this is the length, that's the width, and this is the height. Length, width, height. Okay, so thing is, the height here is 2 inches. So, no, actually, let's say it's 3 by 2 by 3. That's going to be easier to go with. All right, so here is our height, and here is our width. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, realize that although the width fits perfectly in, this height is one inch, while this height is three inches. So that means that you will be able to fit three perfectly in there. However, there's room for one more. The one that got away. And what is, where is that? Well, understand that the length over here is three inches, while the length here is two. So what does that mean? Well, let's illustrate a three by two by three box. So, and then you have the width being two, so let me just make it like that, ah, fudge, mosquitoes be sucking blood from my ear, so, okay, here is our box, three by three by two, so now, what will fit inside this thing? Well, uh, don't mind me, just renovating a box for whatever reason. So what will fit inside this? Well, remember we have two inch by two inch by one inch. So that means that there will be one that fits in here. And then you will have another one that also fits in here. Uh, th these are too small for my illustration. Okay, so you have one that fits in here, two that fits in here, and three that fits in here. But there's room for one more right over here. Why? Because with all the space taken up, there's still a little bit of room over here in this box that is one by three by two. Since it's one by three by two, uh, or three by two by one rather, it can fit one more that is vertically placed. So thus it can fit four. All right, thank you everybody for watching.